It was really physical, more physical in the second half, okay. and I feel like we were kind of surprised by that. And both ways, it was just physical. It was a hard-fought game, and we just, our goal is to hold on to the end, and we did that. I noticed you kind of almost went into more of a stall game there down the stretch. Was, yeah. that, was that kind of the key? Yeah, we took a couple timeouts because we were trying to figure out what we were going to do. So we changed our defense to guard their shooter to shut her down a little mm -hmm. more. And then we also did the stalling game because there was four minutes left. Mm -hmm. And four minutes can be a long time, and a lot can change. So we held the ball, but our goal was to score, too, so drive after that. Let's get you back, I think, to 500, both overall and in the conference. Mm -hmm. uh, what are the goals for this team here, especially these next few weeks going forward here? Well, our next game is Mo Valley, and that's our okay. last first round. After that, we start over and play everyone mm -hmm. again. So we kind of know all the teams, mm -hmm. and our goal is to just play and learn from what we did our first mm -hmm. start of the season. We played pretty decent first half. We got a we got 12, uh, 12 point lead, but in second half, we just uh, were doing childish mistakes. We just uh, uh, let them go back door. We were just watching the ball instead of uh, watching our uh, players on defense, and they got easy baskets. And, uh, and it was always somebody else. So we kind of rotated the mistakes, and uh, uh, they put a little bit of pressure on us, and we threw a few balls away, and all of a sudden, it's a close game. So the middle part of the second half, was uh, not very good for us, but uh, I was really excited the way we handled uh, the last two minutes with the with the four corners yeah. getting some uh, layups, getting some free throws, especially after Hannah Larson fouled out uh, with a few minutes left in the game. Just talk to Kirsten a little bit. Just uh, double figures for her again tonight. Just talk about her and what, what she means to this team. Uh, you know, Kirsten is very solid. She does a really great job on uh, on top of the three-two zone. Uh, she's a pretty good. Uh, she's a good shooter. She can penetrate. So she does all, a little bit of everything. You know, sometimes uh, we kind of put her on point guard duty. Also, she is a good rebounder. So uh, she has really nice overall game. And uh, you know, we are tough when she is in. You know, when she went down with ankle against IKM Manning, we were struggling a little bit on the defense and. Another girl who really stepped up was Kenzie Anderson, who yep. haven't practiced for a couple of days because of her bad back after she had the little collision like in IKM, and I think she had uh, eight rebounds and you know basically gave us boost, and she was the one of the reason we could prevail at the end. Getting in and out of the second half of conference play, uh, what do you want to see from your girls here as this season goes forward? Uh, you know, I just, we just need to get better. The little things, I think our number one goal is just get better again now. Uh, pressure defenses because we have tendency to throw the balls away mm -hmm. you know even though in first half went pretty well all of a sudden second half you you look at it and it looks like a completely different team <laughs> with throwing a ball all over the court just but I think they will come with the game experience not a lot not a lot of the girls who start uh, played last year we have maybe Kenzie Anderson and Kirsten who played yeah. significant <laughs> minutes and everybody else didn't play at all or just came for one or two minutes here and there. So I'm expecting, uh, you know, just pick up a little bit in confidence and hopefully our bench, though our freshmen, sophomores also step in a little bit so we can have, uh, so we can few girls to sub in and out.